In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create these high quality buttons for your animations. This tutorial is very simple, you don't need any plugins and everyone can follow. Now I want to take a moment to talk about my Patreon page. I share YouTube project files along with trendy animations that I create for my projects. These ready to use templates will save you time and are easy to apply to your own work. The club is limited to only 100 people, so join before it's too late. Here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. On the first step, I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to call it May. The width is set on 9020, the height is set on 1080, and the frame rate, I'm going to change it to 30 frames per second. And now let's hit OK. On the first step, I'm going to create a new solid layer. I'm going to call it background and then I'm going to hit OK. Now let's go towards the effects and preset tab. I'm going to write four color to get the four color gradient and I'm going to drag it towards the background layer. Now for the sake of showing the colors better, I'm not going to change any colors for now. However, I'm just going to drag the position of these four colors and I'm going to set it like this in here. Now this is mandatory. You can change it however you want. On the next step, I'm going to set a keyframe on point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3 and point 0.4. I'm going to press U to reveal the keyframes and then I'm going to go towards one second and then I'm going to shift these layers like this and then we are going to copy these keyframes and then a few frames forward we're going to paste them like this. Okay, this looks good. All right, now it is time to stylize it a bit further. So to do that, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to call it effects. And I'm going to add a turbulent displace effect. And I'm going to change the displacement to twist. Let's set it on 150 and let's set size on 450. I'm going to hold alt and I'm going to click on evolution to set an expression. I'm gonna write time multiplied by 150 so we will have an animation like this but however as you see we will have some black uh, sort of displacement happening here to fix that all we need to do is that we need to go and we are going to add the motion tile effect I'm gonna drag it towards the effects and I'm gonna push the motion tile above the layer and let's just turn on the mirror edges and I'm gonna set the width to 350 and then 350 on this one. All right. Now this looks super clean and super good. And we are going to recompose it and we're gonna call it gradient background. All right, this looks good. Now I'm going to press Ctrl plus Y to create a new solid. This time I'm gonna call it background and I'm going to set it a bit darker. Okay, this looks good. And I'm going to select the rectangle tool and we are going to give it a little bit less darker color and we are going to drag to create the base shape of our button. And in the size, I'm going to increase the roundness to get a rounded rectangle. All right, I'm going to call it the gradient base. And I'm going to push this gradient background above. And then with the track mat layer selected, I'm going to parent it to the gradient base. So we will have a color like this. Now I'm going to duplicate this shape one more time. And this time I'm going to call it base and I'm gonna reveal it like this. Now, in order to make it better and make this gradient base visible, we are going to add a glow effect. So to do that, I'm gonna go towards the effects and preset tab, and then I'm gonna select the glow effect, and I'm gonna bring it on top of the gradient base layer. I'm going to reduce the threshold to 20%, and then I'm going to increase the radius to 800. Now you will have an effect like this which is exactly what we want. Now the next step is simple. I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to call it stroke. And we are going to turn off the fill 
and then we are going to increase the stroke to 10 pixels and I'm going to duplicate this background gradient background one more time and I'm going to bring it in here and this time I'm going to track matter to the stroke layer now we have a stroke color that we asked when we changed the colors this is exactly what we want now you can obviously go towards the gradient background and you can change the colors however you like so let's just quickly change these colors and there you have it on the next step you are going to write your text so i'm going to write the let's uh write the button and with the layer selected i'm just going to increase this size and we are going to change its font to the one that you find is suitable great and this will be our final result and i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot thank you so much goodbye